How do you do, folks? Thanks for stopping by today. My name is Joe, and welcome to Fairwood Craft. I've got something I think is pretty cool to show off to you today. I honestly didn't think I was going to be able to do so because when it was broached to me, I figured it was kind of a gimmick. I could not have been more wrong. Let's go ahead and make this quick. This is a little LED flashlight from a company that I had never heard of. It's called Manker, M-A-N-K-E-R. It is pretty nifty. They market it as a keychain flashlight. My keys have enough junk on them already. Uh, my opinion gets straight off to the bat here. This is a bit big of a footprint for a flashlight that is attached to your keychain, but that could just be me. One more thing while it is daylight, I do need to point out, this is another negative. Don't click away from this video just based on these two uh, critiques that I have, but it needs to be daylight to show you. It does have a little uh, rubber door here for the USB recharger. It is really hinky. Um, it doesn't stay anymore. I've been using this for about a month. So whatever waterproofing ability that door is supposed to give this flashlight, it doesn't work. With that being said, there is absolutely no point to me standing here during the day talking about a flashlight when this really needs to be talked about at night. So we'll wait about 12 hours for it to get dark and we'll talk more about this. Let's hit up the specs on this light here real quick. I know, I know listing out the specs is the boring part. So I'm gonna hit the high points and I will list the complete specifications in the description. There are two different versions of the light one comes with the Cree XP G3 LED which maxes out at about 300 lumens and the other one is comes with and pardon me I can't pronounce it correctly I'm sure but is a Nychea 219C LED which maxes out at about 230 lumens the flashlight's body is made out of machined aluminum it does come with a built-in polymer lithium battery and is rechargeable by any USB device. And that battery is a 280 milliamp hour lithium battery. The waterproofing standard is IPX6. Impact resistance is two meters. As far as output, you're gonna have the red LEDs for one lumen for 100 hours. On lows, 23 lumens for 5.6 hours. Medium is 86 lumens at 1.5 hours. High is 230 or 300 lumens respectively for one half hour and the strobe is the same as the high mode. This little Manker's biggest plus is something that some may consider to be its biggest negative as well. Its battery life is just a, a mere 280 milliamp hours, which admittedly does only give it a usable time frame of about an hour or two, and that's if you're stingy with how much you use it. But at the same time, if you flip the coin, and this is what I really like about this little light, along with its form factor, but we will get into that here in just a minute. It's with that tiny little battery also comes a super fast recharge time via its onboard mini USB port. Given the fact that USB is everywhere, I'm able to charge this light in my car, my office, off my laptop, or another computer that I'm actually working on at the time with a backup battery bank or even off the battery of my cell phone. Just throw it on the charger on my way to work or on my lunch break and it's fully charged by the time I need to use it again. Speaking of charging, the first stage of charging, the blue light that is embedded on the button pulses and kind of grows with intensity while it goes through its initial rapid charge. Once that rapid charge is completed in approximately 10 or 15 minutes, it goes to solid blue while it trickle charges for the next hour or so. Its complete charging time is usually about 75 minutes. Another positive aspect is while it puts out plenty of light at about 230 lumens max, it is a very soft light. It's kind of have a yellow tinge to it. It's not a harsh white light that's typical in many LEDs today. So with that 230 lumens max, it does light up your workspace very effectively and it doesn't overpower your eyes. It doesn't have a super long throw, but its spread is extremely usable under normal use. A search light, it definitely is not, but for working in confined spaces, unlocking a car door, or just regular everyday activities, I found it to provide more than enough light to ad adequately complete whatever task is at hand. Another positive, at least for me, and how I use flashlights on a daily basis, is its form factor. I am constantly working in tight and confined spaces where a headlamp isn't really possible. That being the case, I typically find myself holding a flashlight as unattractive as it is with my teeth. This light being extremely light and generally flat in shape, it does not get tiring or uncomfortable to use the light for lengthy periods of time in that fashion. Its shape is designed to fit on a keychain, however I find it just as easy to store it in my pocket like a traditional style flashlight. Its use is very simple, at least for me. One long click to turn it on or off, one short click to move between the low, medium, high, and red LEDs. To move to the strobe mode, just double click at any light level. The light does have a memory, so it turns on in its most recently used mode. Overall, I do find the Manker LED to be wor well worth its price point of $25 on Amazon. The link will be in the description. But as always, everyone's needs and perspective differs on what is needed in an EDC flashlight. And folks, thank you very much for being here today. I do appreciate your time. I hope you enjoyed the video, found it useful, helped you made, make a wise decision on whether this is the light for you. If you did enjoy the video, please make sure to hit that thumbs up button for me. I would appreciate it. And also, folks, if you enjoy videos such as these and you're not a subscriber yet, I invite you to become so by making use of that red subscribe button down below. And as always, guys, hit that comment section up. Ask me any questions. I will do my best to answer them. Folks, I will see you next time. I hope you have a great day. What are you doing? You're not in the camera frame. You're not in the camera frame. What are you doing?